Welcome back to Pickle with a Shotgun, the best Armory Forger YouTube channel um, possible. The best one around by far. That's what I've been told. So if you guys uh, watch my shorts, there's a short where I shoot a guy and I steal his law and then I come off of the LAV uh, as it's called. I pop off it like this and then I aim at it and I shoot it and then it just it seems like it goes straight through and I was confused. I thought it was a desync thing, but you know what? The, the LAV didn't even move. It was just, it was just there the whole time. Uh, but then everybody on the old YouTube comments, they were putting me in my place and telling me things like the M72 law has a minimum arming distance of 33 feet, arming distance, arming distance, uh, any tactical shooter worth its lick of salt has it most times at 10 to 30 feet. Just everyone was yelling at me about the arming distance. All right. I don't know. I guess it was just the first time I had learned about that. So I decided to uh, put it to the test and see what exactly the arming distance of the, what is this? The M72 A3 uh, law, the light anti-tank weapon. I don't know what makes it light. Is it is it shooting a light armored vehicle that's good against, or maybe it's just not very heavy. Maybe maybe other maybe other anti-tank things are heavier. Um, I don't know. Also, I hate the sight on this thing. Look at this thing. It's terrible. I can't see anything. They just block out. They block out everything. Let's put it to the test. Let's see how far away it is. Now, according to the internet, according to Wikipedia, um, the law, the the M7, what is this called? Hold on, I gotta switch guns. Then let me switch back so I can see the name down there in the bottom. What is it? And the M72A3. According to Wikipedia, it has a arming distance, a minimum arming distance of 10 meters, which is about 33 feet. Uh, so I decided to... I don't know how to me like measure distance in this uh, game, but I figured I'll shoot a law from each one of these UAs, UAV lengths because that's you know that's something when you're playing the game you can kind of like figure out in your head, right? You you know how big one of these guys is, one of these what are these called? UAV, UAZ, I don't remember. And then let me just ask good old Chat JTP, hey, uh, how long is a UAZ four six nine? The UAZ 469 is approximately 13.2 feet long is what it says. I don't think this is, thir is this, this is not 13 feet long. You know what? We're going to have to go with it. I, I just, I'll, I'll trust the AI on this particular one. Let's get to the shooting and fire, fire it off. As you can see, it has gone directly through it. Now, I think what's confusing about this game is shouldn't I hear like a clink or shouldn't just the projectile just be sitting here and instead it just seems like it goes directly through this is what i hate about this thing too like how do you you can't reload this thing you just i just gotta toss it now let's get marked up with two okay so this is gonna be technically 26 feet right each of these is 13 point something so this is like 26 point something feet let's go ahead and fire her off see how she hits <laughs> Still nothing. Still nothing at the two UAZ marks. So now we're gonna go for the three UAZ mark, about about right here, and line up with the back tire. Get right on the line. So this is three. So this is 13 times three. Let's go ahead and do that math real quick. What is this? 39 feet. This one should hit. This should be boom. Look at that. Look at that. So just to let everybody know, when you're playing Armory Forger, so you're not a dumb, look, I got a little injured though. Maybe we should keep doing this test and see, see how far back you need to be to not get injured. Let's do four UAZs away and let's see if uh, our guy gets fucked up. As you can see, I am not fucked up. So what have we learned from this uh, very awesome, highly scientific experiment? We've learned that in order for you to effectively make contact, make the explosion happen with the light anti-tank weapon, you gotta be three, three UA, UAZs away, all right? That's what you gotta visualize when you're on the battlefield. You gotta be three of these away, then you're gonna make the contact just fine. All right, but you're gonna get fucked up a little bit. So in order to be safe, you need to be four. Ooh. So, oh, he got fucked up. You need to be four UAZs away in order to be safe. All right, this is the this is the safe firing 
distance. It's right here. Just for fun, just because this little crosshair is right in the middle. Let's see if we can split the diff. Ooh. Also, oh, see, I have been hit. As you can see, I've been fucked up. Why does it say two up here? What the hell does that mean? Does this thing reload? He just inspects it. That's what I thought. I didn't think he reloaded anything. What does that do? Toggle weapon safety off? Well, I don't need a weapon safety. Just to let you know, once again, because we tried to split the diff, you gotta be four away. Oh, I keep forgetting that's gonna happen. You gotta be four, four UAZs away and then you can light it up. So that's, look, see how far away I am right now? That's what we're, that's what you're trying to look at. Something about right here. 